Give him a 10 for to clean now. And obviously, cleaned it off. Uh, the valve at the bottom, the drain off valve, always uh, tends to leak at the bottom. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it all apart for you now and show you the reason why it's leaking. Quite right, a straightforward one. Clean it out. And job's done. Just drain it down now again. So, I'm going to do, I'm going to take it off. And screw it. Inside there, I'm going to take on the bench now. There's a koi tooth in it. So just shut the valve off, as you can see. Inside there, look in there, that's all koi tooth. So it's just a little toll sign there, it's in a, between 6 to 10 inches in that one. So obviously, the loose teeth, quite a few teeth actually, there's more than usual in there. So we'll shake them all out, and tap them, and show you. See them all falling out now. Load of teeth. Oh, I'll get back to you in a second. I'll show you how many's in there. Plenty. As you can see now, I just dry them all off. And there's the teeth out there. Bottom valve. The drain off. So there's quite a few now. I've just dried them off. Nice and dry. As you can see them all. And that's what keeps blocking up. Obviously, there's a bit of a back house medium there as well. I'll be out of the shower. So you do get bits of that in there, so make sure you keep checking it. Give it a good clean out. So there, there's a the teeth. That one little clean. So I do usually chuck them away like we well, saved some big ones. I'll show you. As you can see. These are not out there, they're tempest. So these are like the pond when I see them in the drum filter and stuff. So I save them, do cash when they go through. And obviously, these are medium sized uh, koi teeth. You can get a lot bigger in these. You see, they, look, they do look like human teeth. Basically, I'm trying to focus. There we go. You see that the root the root goes. They're like little munching pads on the back of the throat. Obviously, people don't think uh Corey got teeth, but they definitely have. There's a couple there. There's a small off a bigger toe side. There we go. Koi do have teeth. As you can see in there as well, there's still a bit more crap. This one's good cleaning out. So I use it says uh, get an old pipe down it. Do it yourself. Do a good cleaning. Let it salt through. Obviously, turn it off and on a bit. It's going to be hard to do this for you. In one hand. Okay, so just keep cleaning it out. Keep doing that a few times in the bucket. Get all the crap gone. And put it back together. That's just solved the problem. Just make sure it's all out of there. As you can see, it's going to disappear a bit. Clean it properly out. And get it back together. Okay. I'll finish this and get back to you when I'm pulling it back together. As you can see in there as well, where the coat teeth have been, that's damaged it a little bit as well. So when you open and shut it, it's all scratched it. So it probably leaked in there a little bit as well. So what I'll do, I'm going to put it back together, try it, and see how we go. And so make sure you put the rubber seal back on. So I'm going perfect. Give it a good screw up. Nice and tight. Check the valve off. Off of these two valves. Put on there. That's plate. It's filling up now. There we go. It's not leaking. Well done. Saying this is one of the old ones. As you can see inside, it's proper scratched up the teeth and uh, bits out there, shower and stuff. So it gets back through and gets in there and clogs up and scratches it all. Obviously, that one still leaks a bit longer. So I've emailed Evil Snacker, who sent me a new one out. Well, sent me a few news out in the past light, so we've got a few tempests around. So I'm saying that one's a bit battered too much. So there's got to be a better way of doing it, really. So that's not really good, really, that. So definitely sorting out. It was a bad design fault. With them just pink, cheap plastic dry, uh, valves, we're saying they're cheap enough as they are, so we're going to upgrade it to a ball valve, put a ball valve on this. So obviously that one's all cleaned out now, so you keep cleaning them out all the time, you shouldn't have much problem with it really. We're saying, as soon as you email me, you're sending one out, you can't see that. 
So they, they do stop after a couple of minutes as well. It wasn't too bad really. I'm saying if yours is knackered, just give them an email to send you a new one out. I'm saying if you're going to keep it clean, keep looking after it, make sure it's too bad. Just give me a one to clean now. So it's my second tempest, I've got two. I see one over there and this one over this side. So he's just temping here for now. It's going to move him outside there. Uh, it's going to be warm now can get it done. I don't know what to do with this one. Uh, it's got these crappy valves on this one. These valves with valves. Let's see, this one. Leave it open. Make sure the air doesn't uh, blast off light. Don't uh, break the seals on the system itself. Obviously, put an airline through this. Give it a good bubbling up. Better way of doing it. This is his third clean now. So, like I said, it's still dripping a bit. So it's still leaking. So what I do is make sure nothing's left in here. On its last clean, let it come out. Just keep moving it back into. Anything stuck in there now in that valve, that'll just flush through. Like I say when I was cleaning the bucket early on as well, that's what I did earlier on, I kept opening and shutting it. So it's just seen me just move it about in there, but open and shut it, keep messing around with it in the bucket. Cleans all the crap out. Makes it all better. Now let's get this finished off. And then we're doing the two tankers every day. See it's not clear now, it's very clean. So the bucket is green. Right there. That says a green bucket. Well, it's a white bucket, obviously. It's stained a bit. So that's a second uh, third clean, should I say? It's all done. Take the air pipe back out. There we go. Job done. Start filling back up. Shut it off. So if you see it's still dripping a bit, obviously I'll fill up in a second. See it's still dripping a bit. Always leave a bucket underneath. Obviously I'll let me take this out in a second. Get this out. Always leave the bucket underneath and that will drip. And it'll probably be half an inch or something at the bottom. So it does drip for a good 10 minutes or so. It does stop eventually because it's a little up to the teeth and everything in the bits. So it does scratch it all. All right, I'll fill this back up now. Open the valve. That's the power button. And that one's up and running again. Also, as you see, it's dripping now. It's going to into that bucket. And that'll stop in about 10 minutes or so. It's time for the valve to be given. Not a brilliant valve. But, there's the job. So, it's only a quick one. So, now just showing you how crap the EA Tempest valve can be. So, it does plug up now and again. Coy teeth, uh, back out media. Anything gets in there, really. So, I'll just give them a clean now and again. Put them in the bucket. Clean them out. Uh, show them I can do with the valve. Just sweat it about a little bit. Just helps it. They do leak about 10 minutes or so after, so ignore that as long as you've got a book underneath there really, you'll be safe with it. So I'll just clean it out, take it off, but if anything is that bad, just give EA uh, an email, make sure they're sending another out, because they've had a lot of problems in really, but just keep on top of them, keep uh, getting the teeth out, getting the crap out really, and get them all sorted. It does the job, obviously this one down here, that one's stopped now, that's all working now, not leaking at all. This corner, there's no leak on that one, there's the other side here, that's leaking a bit. Let's say another five minutes time, it'll stop, it'll sort it out, and that's it really. So if you like the content, uh, like what I'm doing, so subscribe to us, so appreciate it, thumbs up. So I do appreciate it, uh, hope to see you on the next one. See you again.